fix this. Gotta fix this. Gotta fix this. I gotta fix this. Okay. Welcome back to my Disney videos. Here we are. Hey guys, welcome back to another Disney video. Today I'm going to tell you all about the Disney College program and college. So how does the Disney College program work with school? I'm gonna tell ya. I did the DCP in the fall of 2014. That's how I know anything about this. Let's do this. I'm gonna split this up into four main areas. First, does doing the DCP mean that you will have to get behind in school? Do you have to take a semester off? Next, we'll talk about Disney classes. Next, we're gonna talk about how do you get credit for this program? And lastly, we'll talk about taking normal college classes during your program. All right, let's get into it. I hope that this doesn't get too confusing. It can get a little bit jumbled in there. So I'm gonna try to be as precise as I can. And if you have any questions, ask them down below. Okay, so first thing. First thing, what does doing the Disney College program mean for your schooling? Will it put you behind? Does it mean you have to take a semester off? The short answer here is you can take classes during the program. However, most people take a semester off or do the program the semester after they graduate. All of this is up to you. The Disney College program is a college internship. A lot of the times with the college internship, you will be working your internship part-time alongside of school and you may get a class credit for your internship. The DCP is a little different because the DCP is a full-time job and it is probably in a different state from your college. So that's really what you're working with. I took a semester off to do the DCP. It was in between my junior and senior year of school, but I didn't mind pushing back my graduation date. If you don't want to interrupt your studies, but you also don't want to do school while you're doing the DCP, there is always that option to apply so that you're going to the program right after you graduate. You can apply up to 12 months after you graduate. All right, let's move over and talk about Disney classes. These are free classes given by Disney to only DCP participants. Disney classes are gonna teach you all about Disney. They are split up into two different kind of areas. The first one's called Exploring Disney. That has to do with anything behind the scenes. You're learning about attractions, parks, how the inner workings of Disney work. And then the other section is called Career Connection. And these classes have to do with how do you expand your Disney career? There's classes about networking, how to write a resume, things like that. All Disney classes are lecture type classes and that means that they do not have homework or tests involved. Types of classes are always changing. It'll be different whenever you do your program because of just what teachers they have available and what subjects they feel like teaching at that time. So I took a Disney sustainability class and I loved it. I was an environmental science science major and I love Disney. So this class was right up my alley. I met once a week for a few weeks. That was kind of cool because you always had that chunk of time off of work. So it was a nice way to kind of like make a schedule when your work schedule is always like all over the place. They taught us about how Disney is trying to be green. They took us on a special ride of the Kilimanjaro Safari and told us like backstage secrets. It was really cool. I loved it. Another thing that Disney offers is independent study hall and exam proctoring. And those are things that you can use if you are going to be taking college classes while doing the program and I'll get to that in one second. But first let's just touch on how do you get credit for this program? Basically it is up to your own college advisor if you get credit for the program or for any of the Disney classes that you take. In my experience, the advisors are going to be looking for how much the program or the classes fit into your major area of study. Also, the advisor may care if there is a way that they can track your progress along the way, homework type, things like that. So if you want to get credit for this program or at least check it out to see if you can get credit, take 
all the information you possibly can to your advisor and be very prepared. Know as much as you possibly can about your work, about the program, and about whatever classes you're interested in taking. You can also maybe come with some assignment ideas that maybe will help them want to give you credit more, maybe journaling, maybe some sorts of projects, I don't know. Let your advisor know that you want to get credit and you'd really like to work with them to figure out how you can get credit for this. Also just decide for yourself if the DCP is worth doing even if you get no credit for it. I think it's totally worth it. You should totally do the program just like no matter the circumstances, it's super fun and awesome. My personal experience with this, I took information about the program and the sustainability class I wanted to take to my environmental science advisor. This was after I'd already gotten into the program, so I knew what job I was going to be doing and I had a syllabus for this class. My role was recreation at the marinas where I rented out boats. I have a whole video about that. Basically, my advisor did not think that my recreation job pertained enough to my major for it to count as a full internship class, so I did not get credit for the internship. Then when it came to the Disney sustainability class, my advisor said it did pertain to my major, however, he did not give me credit because it was a lecture series. He didn't want to give me full credit for a class if he wasn't able to see that I had put in the work and effort for that class via homework and tests. So I ended up getting no credit for the program. However, I still think it was worth it. I'm so happy that I just took a semester off and did the program anyway. A more successful story, however, one of my sorority sisters was a recreation and parks tourism major, and she did the Disney College program also as a recreation cast member. She got credit for the internship. However, her job in recreation is probably a very similar type of job to any internship job she would have gotten if she would have just stayed at school anyway. Basically, her Disney role was very related to her major. So it makes sense that she would get credit for it. Yeah. Okay, last thing we're going to talk about today, taking college classes along with the DCP. If you are really gung-ho to not get behind schedule in your studies, but you also need to do the DCP right now, you are probably interested in taking college classes while you do your DCP. This is allowed. You can take online classes with your own home college. This is totally up to you and your school and what classes they offer online. Obviously, you do not want your classes to interfere with your DCP job or you could get termed. So really think about this when you're deciding. You really need to know yourself. Are you an excellent time manager? Can you do school on top of a full-time 40 hours plus work week? What do you really want to do with your time off of work? Do you want to use that time to further yourself in school? Do you want to use that time to go do fun Disney things? Do you want to use that time to sit in your apartment and chill because work makes you tired? For a lot of people, including myself, it was even hard most of the time to just get myself off my butt during my time off to like go out and do things with friends and go to Disney and go to Universal because I was so exhausted. So after considering all of that, if you do want to take classes, definitely think about how many you can handle. Maybe one or two would be just fine. Also, definitely consider taking advantage of those study hall and exam proctoring offerings that Disney has. If you sign up for study hall, they will give you a chunk of time each week that you will definitely have off of work. So that would be extremely helpful for getting work done for your classes. Okay, let's just close with a little of my opinion. Because anyone can give you just straight facts, okay? You can go to a website and get straight facts. But here, I am here, and I'm going to talk about me for a while because here I am, it's me, I'm here. So here's my opinion. In my opinion, the best way to do the program is just to take a semester off or to do the program after you graduate. I think it would have been really difficult for me to make myself do school and homework and tests. However, 
I did not really like school and I am not the best time manager. So... I loved not having to deal with class. I really felt like I was able to just do anything and everything that I wanted to do while I was there. I felt like I was able to make better friendships. Two of my roommates are still my best friends, so that's pretty cool. I also strongly encourage you to take at least one Disney class. Pick something that you are interested in and that you want to learn about Disney and learn all about it because it's awesome and cool and really fun. Also, a lot of the information could help you get jobs at Disney after your program. You have the chance to get an inside look into Disney in a way that no one else is able to. Basically, you may never get an opportunity like this again, and I mean that in the best way. Just take advantage of all that's offered to you, have fun, do all the things that you wanna do, and you are gonna have the best time, and you're gonna remember it for the rest of your life. Thanks so much for watching. That's everything I have about school today. If you have any questions, please ask them down below. I'd love to talk about it. Also, I'm going to link the DCP classes webpage down below so that you can go find some more specific info about what types of classes they have to offer and such and things like that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week in my next video. Have a magical day, you guys. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.